right, so uh, Phil Midler here in the Pacific North Sports uh, Shop, downtown Bellingham, Washington. It's a balmy uh, 38 degrees out today. Water's maybe uh, 46. So we're gonna do another dry suit review. This time it's going to be the sole dry suit from Ocean Rodeo. This is it. Telltale difference is the uh, uh, kind of neon green hood here um, from the heat that we did last time. Um, so let's just start with that. Um, this, they're very similar, the heat and the sole. There's a couple of key differences, one being this removable hood. Um, it's neon green for visibility, it just zips right off. And the hood for most water sports enthusiasts is, is, is probably, you know, just a take off and immediately kind of thing. It just flies back in the wind. Um, I know I've never used mine, I just zip them right off. So I'm actually gonna zip that off right now and kind of take it off of here. Um, the two ends Velcro in with Velcro and then the zipper just keeps it connected. So I'll kind of toss that over here. Um, the other big difference you'll notice right away is all of the seals, neck seal, the uh, ankle seals, and the wrist seals are all latex. Um, the last one we did was the heat, which had neoprene seals for the neck and the wrist and then built in um, dry suit socks. So this is a big deal. Um, these are tight and they're absolutely waterproof. So you won't get any water in any part of the suit, no matter how hard you fall, etc. You know, that being said, sometimes when I take a real good header kite boarding or something, I'll get water in uh, my ankles, but it's just a little bit, just a little tiny bit of spray. Same thing on the neck. Um, I have a pretty skinny neck for the size suit I wear. I wear a pretty big suit because of my height. So the neck seal is sometimes just a little looser than, um, you know, maybe like a medium, if it were a medium, it'd be a little tighter. The great thing about these suits is they put in these ridges, you can kind of see those on the neck seal especially, and those are there as a guide. So, you know, if you're one of these dudes that's a medium size or medium king or even a large king, um, this neck seal might be tight if you're a really big guy, if you have a really big neck. So it's made to be cut. Just take a pair of sharp scissors, follow those guidelines around and make it um, you know, large. I always suggest to clients that they actually wear it for a session or two and make sure it's, it's tight because you can't, you, know, you can't go back, you can't make it bigger or you can't make it uh, tighter after you cut that. Um, but that's nice. Um, the other one is, it's gonna have the relief zip here for guys only, you know, so you can take care of business. Here's the, uh, the uh, ankle seals. Um, this is it. So the sole suit in general hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. You know, it has the, the jacket that goes over everything. Um, but yeah, very similar to the heat we did last time. So a couple of pockets. I like using these for my hands. Even if it's cold, a lot of times I won't wear full gloves. I'll just wear like some, um, what are they called? Uh, open palm mitts, that's it. Your palm's actually not covered by neoprene. It just goes over the outside to block the wind. So these are nice to, you know, stick your hands in. Um, when you're out there has a key retainer on the inside. So if you you, know, you want to take your car keys or whatever And that's going to be on both sides. Here's the other one And then one of these yeah, this is the kit So the manual with care instructions and then you can't really see it there. Maybe that's the lube for the zippers um, You want to keep those lube maybe like once a season kind of thing I'll actually take that out because we're going to put this in the water then this is the other pocket for phones and accessories. It's not waterproof. Another key retainer in here. And then it has a opening for headphones. If you want to run headphones from your um, iPod or if, if that's still a thing, in there, up through the jacket into your ears. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on and we're going to get out into the water. Um, I'm just going to get in there and what I'm wearing. Um, on a day that's this cold, the water's pretty cold out there, I'd probably wear fleece um, or tights. I have like some running tights I wear, wear under my jeans. Um, jeans aren't the best in general, like cotton's not the best item to use. Um, I usually just wear what I have on. Um, I just kind of put it on, but I really trust the suits. Th think you're gonna get wet, some synthetic like polyester. The polyester blend, blend fleece is better because it'll still keep you warm if it gets wet. Um, but I'm just telling you, I literally, I just wear whatever I'm wearing, cotton t-shirts, um, a pair, you know, this is like a down, a down uh, mid-weight jacket and, a, and just a pair of jeans. All right, so I'm gonna slip this guy on. Just like the, uh, just like the heat, 
We have these uh, suspender straps on the inside here, which are just the best thing ever. Um, I had no idea how awesome these were until I started riding dry suits. They are just awesome. So I kind of go down to the edge of the uh, suspender straps like this, and then just put, put a foot in, put a foot in. Don't try and push it through the seals. And then from here, I usually sit down on the ground or on a chair and get my feet through. The way I do my feet is kind of open that seal up and help your foot go through and then straighten the seal out on your leg like that. Um, and that's it. So the other one. Through, straighten that seal up and you're all set on the bottoms. Now we're going to do our suspenders. Just kind of pull them up like a pair of pants, like so. Suspenders over the top. Make sure everything's in the right bucket. And this is party mode. So, you know, we're in party mode. We can uh, just kind of hang out. If you get hot, you can take down the rest of the dry suit here into party mode and just kind of chill. When you're ready to get the rest on, you can kind of pull it up, shoulders first, like so. The arms are a little easier and kind of put your fingers through like this. If it's tight, you always want to use your hands, your other hand to kind of help get that seal in. Uh, my watch is on the inside. Normally I'd wear that on the outside. But we're just going to be out there for a sec, so I'm not going to worry about it. So you see I put my elbow on the inside like this, kind of rotate it around. Some guys have the flexibility to do it the other way. I do it like this on purpose because people have shoulder flexibility issues. This is the way to do it. Drop that shoulder in, over, and then you're in. There's no flexibility issues. Again here, we're just gonna loosen that up. Ooh, and these fit me. These fit me perfectly. So, head seal. Right here. You kind of give birth to yourself. Huh? Right through the next seal. So that's it, we're in. This is another um, flexibility issue for some people. Just do it in two parts. So you're going to pull it, make sure there's nothing in there. Yeah, you're going to pull it up like so. And you know, when you're new to this, you can get stuff stuck in there because you're just not used to how it's supposed to feel. It should glide pretty, reg pretty easily around. So halfway over, you can finish pulling it down like this on this side. It's really not bad. People put lines on this. If there's a, even like a, little six inch line, little piece of uh, a little piece of kite line or whatever on here. Have a little extra flexibility. I have great range of motion on my, on my shoulder so I don't have to worry about it. But some people do. So just like with the heat dry suit, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of air in here, but there is. So I'm gonna burp it by kind of bending down like this and opening that neck seal to get all that air out. Like so, now close it and it sucks. Suck to me, right? Look at that. Now we can get this zipper, zippity doo dot up, like, like so, you know. And now we're ready to rock and roll, right? So that's it. And that's my favorite part about these suits, is, you know, they actually look kind of, kind of cool, right? Um, you have the jacket over the top. You can put your harness, your kite harness, right over this. Um, we used to actually wear them underneath. You know, we put it on here and run it through. It's better to go over the top. You're going to have to, there's a lot of fabric here, so you're going to have to um, let things out a bit on your harness for the winter time. But you can see on the legs, this is sticking out. It doesn't. This actually goes down over that for the most part. Um, like I said, I'm like, I'm really skinny and super tall, so. All my, all my dry suits fit kind of funny. But the best thing about dry suits is it doesn't really matter. It's a big bag that sucks to you. So, you know, the most important thing is your inseam from here to kind of your shoulders, right? At least for a guy like me, if that's too tight, you know, I bend over and rip out my crotch or whatever. Um, if these are a little high on the bottom side, it's not a huge deal. So, you know, the people with long torso is going to be the issue. And you just go one size up. If it's a little baggy on the top side, it's not gonna matter. Um, that's kind of 
it. If you have specific fit issues uh, for sizing, definitely call us or shoot us an email. We can help. We fit people in dry suits every day. It's, it's, it's really not that hard, but it's not like a wetsuit, you know, where everything's going to be tight and stuff. You kind of have to get, get close with the important metrics and it's going to suck to you and it's going to be just fine and perfect. So I'm going to get things rolling here. We'll head out and get in the water. I think I'm going to take the e-foil out for a few minutes. So we'll do that in the dry suit and see if we can't have a good time. Yeah. So I forgot my booties today. Uh, so I'm not going to get any booties. The great thing about dry suits are they keep your body warm. So your capillaries don't uh, constrict as much. So you have better blood flow. And this is like, I'm not a medical guy. This is just stuff I've heard from people. Um, and it's the absolute truth. So even without booties today, this water's probably 46 ish. It's like 38 degrees out. Um, I'll be just fine. You know, I'll have cold hands and feet, but it's not going to be critical. Um, not a lot of wind out here today. So um, yeah, we'll just get in and do it. So this is Bellingham. Our shop, you can kind of see it behind us there, is in the granary right there. Um, and we have access, water access across the street. Let's see if I can flip this camera. Um, so we have water access right across the street. You see the ducks out here. Um, here, this is Bellingham Bay, and you can see way out past that um, barge, that's the uh, Lummi Island, the, you know, kind of the beginning of the San Juans. Pretty adventurous area. Um, you can see the, the, the mountains and hills behind us in town. Um, great spot for water sports, surf ski, e-foil, uh, wing foil, um, all hydrofoil stuff on like Lake Whatcom and Bellingham Bay is awesome. And uh, yeah, you know, we're right here. So we're going to get in the water. All right. So we're in the water here. I got the e-foil out ready to go. I'm just going to do a little water test in here. So even though I burped the air out of this thing it's still going to be tight tighter with the water there's more water pressure than i could do in the shop so as i get down you see how it gets kind of big i'm just going to burp that out and i always do this before every session burp all this air out i'm just floating here slowly sinking and uh getting all that burped out oh here we go there so now it's super tight and i'll go underwater here I can feel I'm not getting wet at all. It's cold on your skin, so it feels, you know, so it'll feel like you're getting wet, but you're not. Let's get this e-foil rolling. Go out for a quick, a quick jog. I didn't even, I need to lock the shop, so we gotta make this quick. Let's see. Yeah, I prefer the dry suit in the winter time, just because I end up, I end up uh, putting more time in, getting a lot more safety than I would if I didn't. Uh, didn't have a dry suit on, and that's definitely the case e-foiling. You know, it's hard to get excited if, uh, you know, you're cold, so. I'm just gonna get up on this guy quick. Here we go. Whew. I'm a goofy foot here. I'm goofy, all right. All right, we're just cruising. Cruising for bruising. Out on the out on Bellingham Bay. Yeah, so now I'm up. It's windy. It's not windy. I feel the wind though with the e-foil while I'm riding. And with the dry suit, very little, very little uh, chill factor from the wind, which is great. And this is why so many wind guys really enjoy it. Um, you know, when you're submerged in the water, you get that conductive cooling from the water touching the, the surface of the suit and then kind of transmitting to your body. You know, and that's why I wore this big puffy jacket underneath is to kind of prevent that. Um, but yeah, when I'm out here in the wind, I'm gonna turn around, the wind's blowing. Yeah, you can probably hear it on the, on the camera. It's pretty strong on the way back. I'm perfectly comfortable. You know, I'll start feeling it in my hands a little bit. That's why, you know, you wanna wear gloves. You don't have to wear anything serious but something on those hands just to keep the chill off. Yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna head into the beach and we'll call this suit reviewed. Woo! Okay, 
back inside. Um, brutal, brutal. Not so bad in the in the dry suit. Never would have went out today without a dry suit. There's no way. Um, there's just no way. You know, you'd have to be six mil, and you'd just be freezing. So, taking it off, opposite way of putting it on. You know, neck seal. Gonna open this up with your hand. Put your head through, and off you go. And you can see, I mean, there's nothing. No water came in through the through the uh, neck seal. So to get this top off, you may think you have to get like all acrobatic. You can just pull your kind of coattails, get these shoulders out a little bit, pull the coattails down, and it'll come right off. You don't have to contort yourself into crazy. Um, into crazy uh, directions. So we're going to turn these wrists kind of inside out like this. And then I'm going to use this hand with my pinchers on the inside to open this up. There we go. It happens all the time. Other side's pretty dry. Again, use my thumb to kind of pop that, that off. I was probably out there for, I don't know, 40 minutes or something. So not so bad. Pull the rest down. So we got checking my E4. Um, pull the rest right down to the legs. Legs are going to be the same way. You're going to use your hand to kind of pop that seal. So I'm going to sit down, pop it inside out. You can see it's bone dry. Get my finger underneath the seal and then just pop my heel around just like that. Yeah, these are, these are nice and tight. Kind of pop that guy open. Yep, just like that. And then the best thing about a dry suit is the same can be all inside out. So it's nice and dry for pack up into your car. So that concludes the uh, ride and review of the Soul Ocean Rodeo dry suit. Hope you guys enjoyed it and helped you out. Let us know if we can get you one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.